Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how to implement a volume settings in your game in Godot 3.2. Our final product will be something like this, where we have a slider that affects the volume of sounds in our game. The first thing that we need to understand are audio bosses. And an audio bus is basically a way to group audio tracks in order to apply sound processing effects to them. We can see our audio buses in the audio section in the bottom left hand corner of Godot. By default we only have the master audio bus and all our audio stream players by default run through the master audio bus. So for this we will be changing the volume on the master audio bus so all of our audio stream players will be affected. So let's start with the implementation. We will be adding another slider to the project. Um, we'll be disabling that one and making changes to this one. So we want our slider. First of all, it has a range. Um, we want to set it from um, the maximum value of zero to a minimum value of negative 80, which is from a maximum sound at zero decibels to no sound at negative 80 decibels. We will be connecting the value change signal on the slider to our menu script. And as you can see, I already did that before. Audio server, um, set bus volume, bus volume, decibels, audio server, get bus index, master, we're getting the master audio bus, and set it to the value, to the new value. And this is what we get. The exact same thing. So let's take a step back now and look at how we would implement separate volume settings for sound effects, music, and UI um, audio streams. For this, uh, we would basically have to create a new audio bus, so we'll have one for music and we'll have one for sound effects. Uh, so our audio streams are passed um, to an audio bus. And so when we pass it to the audio bus music, the bus applies all of its effects to the sound effect and then it is passed to the master, master audio bus and then the master audio bus applies all of its effects to the audio. So our sound effects always go through the master audio bus, but uh, they can also go through other audio buses. So in this case, if we want a sound effect that is music, we would pass it to the music bus. We would apply the volume change to the music bus. We would do nothing to the master bus. We we could have a separate separate volume setting, like a separate master volume setting, but there would also be a music volume setting, like in uh, a lot of the games that we play. And in effect, we would have separate volume settings for separate sound effects. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was informative and I'll see you next time.